Okay, today we're gonna troubleshoot a wireless dog fence to see if we can get a it's a radio frequency fence so we can be, find if we see if we can find a break in the line somewhere somewhere along this stretch of about 3,000 feet of wire is a break so my dog fence isn't working. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Basically, what I'm doing is because I have a short section here where the other wire is just right across there, maybe eight feet away. I'm running a wire between the two and I've stripped some wire off and I'm gonna connect that wire and hopefully we'll get a signal and if we do it means the system is broken to the left of us somewhere down there if it's not it's to the right of us so here we go we've already got it attached over there it's a black wire you can't really see it in the grass but it's attached over there we've just stripped off a section of wire and it sounds like we got a signal and what we've done we have an AM radio tuned to nothing. There's no frequency or no, or no station at this frequency. And as we get it close, it'll pick it up. And you can kind of hear that. All right, so it is working. So now, hopefully, we should be able to follow down the length of this wire. And we should be able to find a break. So we're going to walk around and see if we can find it. Okay, we found the break. Um, you can hear how weak the signal is here. And then just, basically I just followed along till I found it. And then over here, just 10 feet away, you get a good signal up, you know, three feet above it. So you can tell the difference in the signal strength. So just follow it along till you find a, a weak signal. And you know, the weaker it gets, the closer you are to the break. That's it.